Hey guys, so in this week's Candid Cap, Erin and I are going to talk about what it's been like for us since we downsized about a month ago. It's been about a month, right? Yeah, around about. Yeah, so for 30 days we've adjusted to a much smaller living space in a much like less populated area. So we're kind of in a rural place. And Babies. yeah, so we're farther away from Aaron's workplace. We're a lot closer to my family, which is great. Um, the kids are still in a good school, but it's really a, a very, very, very big change. So we wanted to talk about just some of the pros and cons of this new transition to a more minimalist lifestyle, a smaller space, and hopefully preparation for a tiny house at some point. We want it, We would like to buy a tiny house at some point, so we're trying that out. So what do you think are some of the pros that you've seen? So, so we've uh, we've really, really tried to like not go the ripped in the bandaid way of doing this. We wanted to do it and kind of you know uh, move down to a more uh, minimalistic uh, lifestyle. But we still got a little ways to go. Yeah, we uh, know we're not ready to go from right. a house to living completely in the same space. Like that's doesn't happen overnight, I don't think. Yeah. So we've. Um, we have all our beds now very close together. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be kind of similar to the way it's going to be in the actual tiny home. That's our hope. Our hope is that if we start to adjust to being in the same space, like for real, that it'll be easier later. So that might not make a lot of sense to people, but it makes sense to us. So with that minimal lifestyle and, and, and that we need to get to and putting ourselves in closer quarters to each other, um, there's been a lot of kind of learning on the fly per se. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, when the kids are talking amongst themselves really quietly, you can hear everything. Yes! It, yeah. That's been a huge, that's a huge pro. Yeah. I think that's a pro too. Our parenting is getting better, even though it's been a real adjustment because normally we just send the kids off to another room and they would kind of do their thing and then, you know, we just try to mediate between their bickering. Yeah, but now it's like every time they talk, <laughs> we can hear it and we can say something, they can hear us. We don't have to yell as much, even though I still do. Uh, probably out of habit. We're outside in a park. It's my birthday, so we're celebrating my birthday. So sorry for the background noise. And it's a plane going overhead because why not? <laughs> because yes. No, but the other thing about the kids, the thing with having the kids close by, we have a chance to kind of interrupt when they are misbehaving and give them guidance and then they have the opportunity to be disrespectful back to us so i feel like we've also encountered a little bit more of them the opportunity to be disrespectful i, well, I, like, I like how you frame I, that like like okay. that's something that they were waiting to do you know i'm just saying that i feel like i thought our kids were a little bit more respectful maybe but now that i say son stop doing that when they respond rudely i'm like whoa oh yeah like we yeah. needed this to happen so yeah. they can understand for them the, we can hear when they retort they, yeah you know, so yeah so it's getting better so, yeah. the, so the parenting aspect is good we're close together that's good yeah, yeah. so so there have been some pros and cons cons meaning uh like it's it's uh it's very difficult because now we, we're we're in very close proximity to yeah them. yeah very difficult not to accidentally wake them up not not to have them go mommy daddy and then walk two steps you know to us instead of just staying in their their uh, bed yeah they climb they'll climb into our bed tent and that that's way more frequent than i feel like it was at the other house yeah so when they when they had more space to move around they would just like find a spot in their own room whereas now they're like ah oh, my yeah. bed's not enough i'm gonna go to your bed that's bigger I don't think it's even that. I think it's really just because we're daddy and mommy and now we're very, uh, very close and that makes it look like we're a lot more available than we really are. Well, I also feel like the money thing is a huge pro. I think sometimes uh, maybe you don't notice exactly how much pressure you're under to like maintain your livelihood or whatever. Oh, yeah. And this is literally the least expensive place we could possibly find. Maybe not accurate but we, it is definitely a very 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 cheap place for us to, to, to live and it's uh the amount of space that we actually take up we've now noticed that we can take up far less than that and probably still be happy so it's a good thing to go to this this this, this stage and then reevaluate yourself and go well actually there's still space we're not using even in this small space yeah and I think yeah. that's really good for us. I think it's going to be a, uh, a very good transition, I think, to the next Well, so do you think, step. do you think we could do a tiny house, like, now that we've been doing this oh. for 30 days? Oh, big time. Uh, and, Me too. I think and it's And I think like... we'll be happy in a tiny house, yes. which I think is, is not, yes. every, not everybody can do that. Yeah. And maybe this is what everybody should do, is go down one. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's a 
if it doesn't work, go back up, you know? Yeah, kind of see if it works for you. But for us, I feel like if we could actually pick the layout of our house so that like now we essentially live in one big room where the kitchen is off of that room and the yeah. bathroom is off of that room. But in that big living room, we have bed tents that we sleep in. Oh, yeah. So it's everything. We have a, a We table. live in the living room if, you, if we haven't made yeah. that clear. Yeah, yeah just we one room. Yeah, so we live in the living room and we basically have like mm -hmm. a fold up table and chairs and things like that. So it's a lot less to clean, a lot less to maintain. We're a lot closer together. And I feel like it's less stressful. I feel like it's more like almost like a treehouse type feel. Like it feels yes. really cozy and it, it feels manageable. It feels different. You know, it feels yeah. like, um, I would say like maybe earlier man lived like this. Like you know? primitive man. Yeah, primitive like primitive man yeah. might have had the entire family in one spot. You know, yeah. I'd say primitive, uh, you can go back as far as you want, whether yeah. you go Native American or whatever. Yeah. It probably is very similar to this living and it feels more natural, I think, because of that. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to do by doing this was to go away from the idea of getting a more room. So then I had to fill that room with stuff yeah. that yeah. we didn't want. And uh, I think this is done, done it for. It's very liberating getting rid of all the stuff. It is. We still, problem. we still literally have an entire bedroom that's like stacked floor to ceiling with stuff I wasn't able to go through and sort and deal with before we left. But it's kind of nice to know that that room, all the stuff is there. We're not actually using those items. So when it comes time to sort or sell or whatever we're going to do with it, we kind of already know that we've lived without it and yeah. it's not critical. It's just that we need to responsibly work through the stuff that we've got. But it's. Yeah. Yeah, I, it's, it's it's going well so far, and I and I think we've really enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, commuting to work is what it is. He still has to commute a couple of days of work. To, uh, 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 he still has to commute. Uh, like about three days, <laughs> yeah, about three days a week, like. and it, and it's it's a good hour and a half each way. So it's yeah. it's not easy where I'm at now. Uh, so we're out in the boonies, and I uh, work in Atlanta. So our internet's not as great either, which is a weird thing to adjust. Oh to. gosh, it's awful. So living <laughs> on the boonies itself may not be a good thing, but yeah. uh, I think there's still a lot to be said about uh, uh, the lifestyle itself that we're living, yeah. which is very nice. Yeah. And we can scale down again. I think we can get ourselves down to one room. And I, uh, I think we could fully. too. We're, we're very. We like the things that we've seen about the tiny houses. We've toured them. If you saw our video on touring them, yes. we saw a model that was like almost perfect as is. It just would need some bunk houses, but. Yeah, so that's our deal. That's our update. We're going to enjoy the rest of our time together before we have to go scoot and pick up the kids. But so far, it's been successful, and it's something that I would recommend to people, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we'll, we'll walk you guys through it. Uh, if you guys uh, have any questions, just post yeah. them down, and we'll... Uh, We're going to basically show you the process of going to Tiny Living. So that's it. All have right. a good week. You yeah.